Welcome to the TechnologyCloset.com and our quick shots. In this quick shot, we're going to show you how you can actually burn a disk image, an ISO image, from within Windows 8 to a DVD or CD. The assumption here is that you already have the ISO file. You've created it with a third-party program, and now you'd like to burn it. If you didn't have the third-party program, but you did have the ISO, you can do it internally with Windows 8. To do that, let's open up the desktop. From the desktop, we, not, we have to know where our ISO file is located. In my case, it's located in the root directory of my C drive. If I open up my computer, check my C drive, there's my ISO manuals. How do I get manuals? I use a lot of manuals for a lot of software and I like to collect them and have them as reference. Let me close that down. Now we have to open up the command prompt with admin rights. To do that, hold the Windows key down, select X. Select command prompt, admin. Select yes for the user account control. Now, in the command prompt, the command we're going to be using is called ISO burn. I -S -O -B -U -R -N. Now, when you hit the enter key, watch what happens. We get this dialog box, and it tells me the usage. In order to use ISO burn, I must have the slash Q parameter, the drive letter, and the disk image name. I have not supplied any of that information, so it doesn't know what to do. So we'll cancel or close this out. Now, I happen to have my ISO file. As you can see here, it's located in my C drive, and it's called manuals.iso. And I must use the ISO burn with the proper switch. So I'm going to copy and paste this into my command prompt. Copy, edit, and paste. And as you can see, I have it in my command prompt. Now, if this works, it should come up telling me that it's OK. I have the manual, in this case the ISO name, and I know where my DVD or CD burner is located. So let's hit enter. It calls up a disk image box. It says the disk image is manuals.iso. The disk burner is D, letter D, which is true. And before you set to burn the disk, make sure, of course, that you have that blank disk in the disk drive, as it tells you to do here. I would recommend that you select the checkbox, verify the disk after burning. What that simply does is, after the burn is complete, Windows then goes back and tries to read it as it was written. And if everything is okay and it passes, you're ready to go. This is more of a verification that the disk burn was proper. Well, that's it for this quick shot. Please visit our website at thetechnologycloset.com. And while you're there, please check the menu option to visit our YouTube channel. Until next time.